Hey everyone, welcome back. So in today's video I thought it would be fun to battle out my two most holy grail favorite Illuminous foundations. They are both high-end foundations, but if you would like to see like a drugstore version, just let me know in the comments down below. I'm more than happy to do that. In this video, I thought I would compare my two most holy grail foundations. So this one is the NARS She Glow, and then this one here is the Too Faced Born This Way. So I absolutely love both of these foundations. I do have more normal to dry skin, so that's why I kind of love like luminous uh, foundations and I just would rather be nice and glowy and healthy throughout the day as opposed to like very matte. I don't get oily at all, so yeah, I love these foundations and I thought it would be a really fun idea to compare them both side to side. So what I thought I would do is apply one on this side and then the other on the other side and I can compare them both on my face at the same time so I don't really wear one more than the other I just kind of like jump back and forth they're quite similar I will I think they're quite similar anyway they're both like a medium to full coverage you can um, build it up we will compare them in the video and see which one kind of takes the cake I guess I'm actually a little nervous because I don't know I love these both so much and I don't know, I guess one of them's gonna have the title of my most, most favorite Holy Grail foundation. I don't know. So what I thought I would do first is just get a description up on my phone of both foundations, read them out, and then compare them both. So I'm just on the Mecca website at the moment and I've just got up the NARS She Glow and I'm gonna go down to the details and just read out what that says. So for the She Glow, it says, an artistry favorite backstage at Fashion Week. This silky liquid foundation delivers immediate hydration, even skin tone, and leaves the skin brighter and more radiant. Used daily, your skin texture and tone improves, becoming softer, smoother, and more luminous. She Glow Foundation provides all day weightless and breathable coverage with a natural radiant finish. Suitable for normal to dry skin. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in to, where is it? I'm still on the Mecca website, but I've got up the Born This Way Foundation um, description and I'm just gonna read that out. So the details of this is boosting an undetectable finish. People will think you were born with naturally radiant looking skin, enriched with coconut water to replenish moisture levels, alpine rose to brighten the skin's appearance and boost elasticity, and hydroluronic acid, I think that's how you say that as well, to smooth the skin. The look of imperfections is blurred for a flawless looking complexion. I just wanna grab a glass of water because I'm feeling really tongue-tied. I'm actually a little bit sick today. My throat's killing and I just cannot talk. So I really needed to go get that water. Okay, so they're the two different descriptions of the foundation. So let's jump into the fun bit and actually compare these on the face. So I don't actually have anything on my face. I don't have any moisturizer, nothing. I did wash it this morning and then just done my eyebrows and eyelashes. So what I might do, I'm not gonna use primer because I'm literally just going to wipe this straight off my face. So I thought I would just use my Prep and Prime by MAC and just spritz my face just to give my skin a little bit of an amp up and I know, I literally love this and I use it so, so much. It just feels so good on the skin, I love it. I'm just gonna clip my hair back and Get this out of the way. My hair's literally about, I don't know, five day old hair or something like that. So it's looking a little bit crazy at the moment. So when I sat down to actually film this, I didn't know whether I wanted to use a brush or a beauty blender, but I literally love beauty blenders so, so much. So I thought I would just use a beauty blender and use one for each foundation. So I do have two here. They are both clean with no product on them. So I'm thinking I might do this side with the Bond this way. Oh my God, my skin feels so good after just spraying the Fix Plus. <laughs> so Born This Way on this side and then She Glow on this side. Now, the only thing is um, I've tried to grab the two most similar shades. So with the She Glow, this is in the shade Punjab and then with the Born This Way, this one's in the shade Warm Nude. Hopefully this is going to match my skin tone and like not 
kind of look funny because they are two different colors. I might just swatch them on my hand first so you can see the difference. That one there is Punjab and I'm going to pop Warm Nude right next to it. So the Punjabs are slightly bit more cool tone than the Warm Nude as you can see but that was literally the most um, comparable to my other shades. I do have a lot of other shades because I do fake tan and freelance and stuff. I'm hoping this works out. But this video is all for fun anyway and I'm literally going to wipe it off straight away. Okay, so I'm just going to... Um, I don't know how I should do this. Should I build it up? Should I do like the same amount of squirts? Should I do value for money? Why didn't I think about this before I started this video? Okay, so what I'm thinking is... Do you want to compare the price? Let's compare the price first. That would have been a good idea. Okay, so on the Mecca website in Australian, the Born This Way is $57, and then the She Glow is a lot dearer. It is $68. What's the mils on both of them? So they both are 30 mils as well. So let's see kind of which one is better value for the money, I guess. So we're gonna pump how many squirts? Let's do two squirts for the Born This Way onto my Beauty Blender. And my Beauty Blender is damp as well. Okay. Whoa. Okay. You might be going for a full coverage look. Oh, I seriously just love Luminous Foundations. So I've just zoomed you guys up just to get a little bit of a better look at the foundation on my skin. So this is two pumps of the Born This Way. You can see it's just super natural but still like flawless looking. That's probably a medium coverage to me. Should we go one more pump? No, we're going to leave that at two pumps and I'm going to grab my other beauty blender and the NARS She Glow and once again two pumps onto the top of that and we're gonna go for gold on the other side and see how this one is okay with the beauty blender as well it does um, shear out the foundation a lot as opposed to using a brush but I love the Beauty Blender and it just pushes it into the skin as opposed to just like swiping it around on the skin. I literally could not do a face without a Beauty Blender. I don't even know what I did before the Beauty Blender. That's how much I love it. So just looking in the mirror now, the Too Faced definitely has a little bit more coverage than the She Glow. So the She Glow is a lot more natural, but I think I actually like the texture of the She Glow on my skin. I'm gonna come really close so you guys can kinda see. Hopefully my light isn't washing me out. So that's the She Glow side. And then that is the Born This Way side. Should we do another pump just to see how buildable both of them are? Maybe. Let's go in and do another pump each of the foundation just to see how much we can build it up. So I've got the Too Faced one more pump onto my Beauty Blender. Let's see how much we can build this up. I guess if I was going for a more full coverage look, I would definitely like the Born This Way a little bit better just because you can use a lot less product and have a more flawless base. Let's go in with the Sheer Glow. One more pump. So let's go in and build up this side. I literally can feel the She Glow just sinking in to my skin almost like immediately. Okay, so that is the result on both of the foundations and definitely looking into the mirror. The Born This Way has a lot more coverage than the She Glow, but I love the way the She Glow looks on my skin. So with the Born This Way, I feel like it just sits on top that little, little tiny bit more. Don't get me wrong, I still love this foundation. As to where the... She Glow, it really sinks into the skin and melts in and just makes it look 
really natural but still giving that like flawless look and with the sheer glow uh, there's not as many fine lines noticeable so it doesn't really sink into the creases or the crevices on my face and as for the color of the foundations they actually match a lot better than what I thought they're quite similar in like tones and they don't really look that different I would have to say Nars sheer glow definitely has my heart um, I feel bad well not bad but I did discover this first and I was like obsessed with it but since I've been using this, I just, I don't know, I just feel like this one, it melts into the skin a lot better, it sits on the skin a lot better, and the coverage is still there. Um, I guess like it's not as much coverage as the Born This Way, but it's not far off. So if you have normal to dry skin and like the look of like a natural foundation, but with coverage, I definitely would recommend this. Like I said, it is a little bit more expensive, but it's definitely worth it in my eyes. So I'm actually really glad I did this video now because now I know kind of which one I would prefer. Sorry, baby. <laughs> but yeah, definitely the Nars Sheer Glow. My little Jemmy. Gem Gem. So with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me battle out my two most holy grail luminous foundations. I will be adding on and elaborating more on my matte foundations, drugstore and high end. So definitely subscribe to my channel if you want to stick around and check out them videos and thumbs up this one if you enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye! I've already got highlighter on, so I'm just going to apply it anyway. It just intensifies. Whoa, there you go. The same size, same product, just different shades. That's pretty sketchy, actually.